Hey, you guys want to see a UFO? Come up here. I'm serious. If you want to see a UFO, look right there. It's not a drone. It's way too high. The G-force, it turned. Look at that. Hey, man, look at that. Or not. You can look at that if you want. It's just a UFO. Nothing, nothing big. It's just right there. It's just got light changing from red to white. It's pretty normal. You guys see this UFO? What? It's not my first time seeing one, but you can see that UFO. It goes from red to white. Maybe plasma. It's not a drone. It's moved G-force wise. It can probably move. Is it a UFO? Yeah. I mean, or UAP. Hey, hey, those things are real, though. Yeah, aliens are real. We're not alone. If God just made us, he messed up, or she. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, 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 I was just floating in the air. What the uh, fuck? I know if known craft can float in the air like that at that height. They, we're judging that's 350 feet, so we're talking about 10 to 12 miles in the air. And if you notice, it'll change colors, which is illegal for a drone to turn off its lights. Also, would need a green and red light on the starboard and uh, the port side. This is uh, hovering at an uh, angle that is impossible unless you account for a different propulsion system than nuclear. And to pull a, a 95 degree right angle at that speed would kill anyone. What the fuck? That would, that would kill anyone inside. So, in other words, whoever's inside, the, propul the propulsion system basically allows them to go at G force, G force speeds with the feeling only 11% of the G force you would normally feel. The only, yeah, that's what plasma does when it gets bright. It'll that probably means it's about to turn red. No, it's not. If it was a drone, it's moving too intelligently to be controlled by AI. Dude, look at it on my, my, my camera. It's a circle. Yeah, it's an orb. It's a common common sighting. It's a circular craft. Uh, weirdly enough, it's in the... Uh, well, yeah, it is. It's in the western sky. I called MUFON earlier today, and this is no doubt what, why this is out here. I've had many experiences since I age four with these, and uh, I made a call today to uh, some scientists. And now I was expecting this to happen when I came outside, which is why I had my phone charged. Why I've got it pointed at it, and why it's probably mostly focused on me. That's an impossible Wait, that's aerial maneuver. Circle. That's an impossible a aerial maneuver. It's you. Oh my yeah. God. Stars don't move like that. It's likely powered by uh, Element 115. I might be wrong on that, but it's likely powered by Element 115. You guys want to see a UFO? Come here. UFO. UFO. I know so. I just called MUFON today and then came outside. Why is it moving here? I called scientists today, some of the heads in UFOlogy, and uh, I knew that there was likely going to be a warning for me when I came outside. And that's it. Whether it's a warning or whatever, I don't know. Very real. Um, wait, 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 wait. Mupon. Uh, it's a UFO network, it's not. Uh, it doesn't comply with any government. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's pretty crazy. Yes, you can. Fact is way stranger yes, than fiction. You see that UFO? You see that UFO? First time seeing one. Definitely won't be my last. I thought I saw one the other day. That's my brother. He's coming over. His wife. That's pretty nuts. Surveying. Probably. Using the lights changing colors is illegal for a drone to do. And if you guys know anything about the USAF, it doesn't have a red or a green light on the starboard or port side. It can turn its light off and it'll reappear if it wants to. I mean, it's really... What's strange is how different it looks on the camera. It shows that it's clearly capable of bending light. You guys want to see a UFO? Look over in the southeast. Or southwest. Right there. Right there. How's it going? No, for real. We ain't lying. You guys look at... Look at... Look at... It's moving at such a G-force that it would be impossible for a human to be inside without a propulsion system that wasn't based on uh, element 115. In other words... Yeah, it'll change colors. It's about, it's pretty much in the stratosphere at this point, if not out. Well, if you guys want to see 
guys want, record it to mute mod. Uh, just send the video in. It's all in the location. You can remain anonymous. Whatever that means, but, you know. What's interesting to me is that it appears as multiple lights. Um, I'm going to analyze the star map when I get home, when I get a chance to see to see where it's at like constellation wise because that might mean something. Is this like what you study? Is that uh, music is what I do. Oh. But yeah, I study theology and it's, it's that kind of stuff. I love world religion, Christianity, and stuff like that. I love the different elements, oh, regardless of whether oh, my face stands. Oh, but no, I believe, I believe that honestly, man. I mean, regardless of your faith or whatever, but I believe that like. Oh, there's, some, there's definitely truth to a lot of the old stories that we do. It's weird. You know, I mean, there's no way to explain a lot of this ancient stories that have happened that without this stuff being real, you know? And it seems that they usually come at times when we're in need of great cataclysms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Like, what do they do, though? Like, I, I don't think anyone knows, and if they did, they probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, honestly, it's it's not. So it's they, not something to take lightly because you, you can get erased pretty easily digitally, and that's what can happen if you speak out a little too much. Really? Now it'll stop. <laughs>